Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Brave Programmer. How are you all? Hope you are doing well and in good health. So, uh, this video is going to be our introduction video of our brand new tutorial series on React.js. So, let's get started. If you are a beginner and you don't know what is React.js, React.js is a JavaScript library for creating UI interfaces and it is developed by Meta Platform. So, you can create beautiful UI using React.js. How React.js works? React.js uses client side rendering so this makes your website a bit less SEO friendly so this is a cons of react.js so how react.js works when a client requests to a server server response has a javascript bundle and this javascript bundle renders on server side so our server don't know what's inside the particular file or a particular route so this makes our website a bit less SEO friendly. So why should you use React.js? React.js is used for creating single page applications. Single page applications do not uh, reload on clicking on any links or any UR or any button. So for example your YouTube. So if you will search for Brave Programmer in your YouTube. As you can see here YouTube does not refreshes. And if you will click any on any link, your YouTube does not refresh. This is called a single page application. The second thing about React.js is React.js supports JSX. JSX includes HTML in the JavaScript code. It helps us to include our HTML code inside your JavaScript file. You will learn JSX later on this series. So the third thing about React.js is a large community if you stuck somewhere and you get, you want to get help so you can search on google there is a large community of react.js you will definitely get help from for the particular area so the first step of our series is installing node and react react can be installed via npm yarn or a serial so we are using npm in this series so let's install node first so type node.js, go to node.js.org, then go to downloads and then download the LTS version of your node.js for your particular operating system. So I will download it for my windows and let's go to react.js.org which is the official documentation of react.js and let's use create react app and then here is the command. First, ins let's install Node.js. The installer of Node.js has been installed. Let's wait for it to open. Yeah. Click on Next. I have already installed Node.js. That's why it's showing you you want to change or repair. And I will click on Change. Then this is the same process you need to follow. Click on Next, Next, Change. And click on Yes. And then finish your node.js has been installed if you want to check whether the node.js is installed or not go to your terminal and then type node and check whether it's uh, giving you welcome screen if yes then exit from node and yeah i have control c two control c two times and then you can click and then type npm hit enter if it does not give you any error then your npm has been installed node and npm has been installed successfully then type the last command which is npx and small letters so npx npx yeah. uh, NP, entering npx npm script and yeah it's totally fine Let's open terminal in the particular directory uh, where you want to create your React app. So I will go to C, Qt, React.js, and now here I will open my terminal. And now I will paste my command to create a React app, and I will remove this and then I will press put dot. So the command is npx which is uh, specifying if the this is an npx command and then we are telling that 
and then we are telling create react app and then the app name if you are using dot then you are specifying that you want to create your app inside the same directory but i will i want it in my i want to create a new directory called first app and let's hit enter now it will install all the dependencies for you and it has created already created the folder so let's open it with visual studio code if you don't have visual studio code installed please go to code.visualstudio.com and then download visual studio for your particular operating system i have already installed visual studio so i think that you can install visual studio by yourself it was this here <coughs> Your Visual Studio will look like this. Let wait. Let's wait for the dependencies to install. Till the dependencies are installed, let's open the package.json where there are now and there are only three things now here in the package.json. First, the name of our app. Second, the version and whether it's private or not. After the React app has been created, you will see that your package.json will have a lots of stuff in it. So let's wait for the installation. And I would tell you one more thing that React.js supports third-party modules for creating lots of stuff. Let's wait for the installation to complete. It's almost done. As you can see here, as you can see here, package.json has now 40 lines. About has 39 lines now. There's a lot of stuff written there. And yeah, that's the your, uh, brand new project has been created. In order to run your project you need to type npm start and your project will be running and it's telling me because I have opened my terminal in wrong directory so I need to open my terminal here I will use VS Code integrated terminal here and then npm start You need to wait for some time till the server will start and let's see whether our, yeah as you can see here our react has our react app has been created and it's running fine now let's edit our react app and just type hello world so you need to go under source and then app.js i will explain everything in the next video i want to just create our first app now so let's delete the header part this is our html part here so as you can see here in your javascript file you can use html this is the power of jsx so let's use h1 and you can specify it has react in your vs4 editor to get react snippets so hello world and it's not working because I have done some mistakes here let me solve that I have done some mistakes let the code roll yeah, I think I have solved the error as you can see here it's hello world at the center because of the CSS in the class app. So let me remove the CSS from here. Or I can remove this app.css and logo.svg as well. Now it's a simple a hello world. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel, and to hit the bell icon as well. And in our next video, we will understand the project structure of React.js.